Hello, good afternoon, good evening, good morning, <clears throat> good night, welcome to this Saturday stream, how are we all doing? Are we all good? You're refreshed, it's the weekend, it's Saturday, how can it be bad? What a poser, no, he's such a poser, Arthur, isn't he? <laughs> AV's 10 out of 10, that'll do. Fresh Prince, thank you for three months. So glad to be part of the channel from across the globe, Australia, Australia, mate, thank you, dude. I know it's difficult for you guys to watch. Appreciate the support. Where are we again? I actually forgot where we are. Are we in roads or somewhere else? Would I ever consider doing a subnautica What's let's play? Back? You need to look on my Squirrel Plus channel, Dark Blue. There's a Subnautica Let's Play there, all the way through. Oh, is this the fence guy? Is he still not talking to me? Maybe he's talking to me now. Hang on a sec. Don't you try to pull anything funny again. I will come back to haunt you. I don't remember doing anything funny with this guy. Uh, Chris94. I uh, love the new highlights. They're fun. Thank you, Chris. Thank you for the bits. Eleven oh six p.m. Ben, are you going to, at night? Yeah, I know it's late for you guys. Uh, what was going to? Oh yeah, that's it. I'm going to sell him the gold bar. Five hundred dollars. Get in. Catherine's brooch. Twenty five dollars. Is that it? I would have thought her brooch was worth a lot more than that. Couple of rings, a of this, silver pocket watch, gold pocket watch. Keeping the platinum. Two of them, two of them. Silver clamp buff for a dollar. Happy Keep all the sketches. Matter. That's interesting. That gold shield from Braithwaite. Remember the gold shield that I got from her house? We can't sell it. That's interesting. That implies it might be a plot item of some some kind. Twenty five dollars a lot of money back then. Um, it's probably not as much as you think. Valtiel, thank you for forty seven months. Okay, let's see what we can buy hey, you from got there. anything for me? See what he's selling. Fire bottle. Hope you I hate it when he does that. I always think it's like crashed or something. Uh, miracle tonic. Oh, we'll learn that. You will love that, I swear. Okay, I'll do. Got all the stuff we need. Thanks, Mister. Thanks, Mister. You wonder if Taurus Bustam is worth it now. Come on. You find worth it. <laughs> How's the what been, Seedman? The miss? What do you mean, how's the miss been? Easy now. Why is the music going all... super creepy? Dude, Chris, next time we go to Saint Denis, I'm going to go to the barber and we're going to get that fork, fork beard done. I need to get some more um, beard oil though, because I don't think I've got any. Gin. Is it a provision? I can't remember. Wine brandy. Or is it a tonic? It's probably a tonic, isn't it? It's 
a snake oil health cure. Welcome back, Nutter. Yeah, I don't know. We need to get some more. Where do we get the beard tonic, the hair tonic from? Does anybody know? Yeah, I had a fence bug yesterday. The fix is reloading the save game now. Fix is reloading a save game close by. Now you know what to do. If you have a padlock. Oh, that was a bug. That's interesting. Oh, the general store. Thank you. Valtiel, thank you very much for almost four years. And Ben, welcome back. Oh, that was the place that Rob... Yeah, that's where we went into. We found all those um, corpses. Remember? Hair pomade, that's it. Because I want to get my beard quite long and then have it, like, fork in the French fork way. Maybe the music's just like this at night. Um, so anyway, what are we doing? What are we doing? So we're going to Sandy later. Um, I want to do this, which was the, I think, the was that the Moonshine Robbie or something like that? But also I was thinking about the, you know, the treasure hunt we've got. Is that under L? Where's the treasure hunt? It's a high stakes treasure hunt. You've acquired a map leading to... Uh, you have to look at it by documents or something. Treasure maps. Right, there's this one, the Jack Hall one, which we're still looking for. Which is some kind of... Some kind of water, like lake or something, with a tree in the middle and three high peaks next to it. So that's one that we're looking for. And then the one that we got... Oh, come on, game. Game, why you do this? Then there was the... Which is the one that we got yesterday. Was that the high stakes one? Yeah, that one. So that one there has got some kind of waterfall. I know it's not very good in this light. But it's like a rocky waterfall. So that flows into a bit of a bit of a pool area, I think. So what I'm thinking... Mr. Lolsokia, almost forgot about this button. Thank you for 61 months, Lolsokia. Not only that, tier 3. Very classy. <laughs> Biggie Forty, 55 months, always enjoying the stream. Thank you. Um, so I was looking around here and thinking, well, maybe the water flows in from somewhere and falls down a drop. And then I noticed on the map, ah, there you go, the Elysium Pool, actually, if you look at these contour lines here, has a drop there. So that's that could be, could be the water drop. Or, further up here I noticed, there's a place called Brandywine Drop. See that? So that could be another contender. You can see the contours again. So I thought we'd have a look at those two to see if they're a drop there. And then for the pool area i think i was gonna try maybe this one here so since they're all relatively near each other i thought what we'd do is we go here first have a look at that drop and then do some fishing and catch that fish and then go up the river to brandywine check that out and then come back over to here and check that out and see if we can see if we can check that out whoever designed from rockstar do these maps they look cool they do so, first job is to go and catch a fish and see if that's the, um, the map we're looking for. And we'll see what we see on the way. I also want to make some dynamite arrows. Yeah, you get the classic emo up, Lord Stalking. Remember the O'Grady Lake, Benner? O'Grady Lake. Where's the O'Grady Lake?
Whereabouts is the O'Grady Lake then? We've been to that one. I've not been to Lake Isabel. Oh, maybe I have actually. Yeah, I have no idea where the O'Grady Lake is. And then when we've done that, we'll swing back and come and do this. Happy anniversary. Look at the brandy wine drop. There's also an island inside of it. Yeah, I saw that. That little bit there. Which could be a clue. Quiet Mirth. Thank you for three months. Uh, Bob, we're doing horsing around for quite a while, mate. Running halfway through the game. FYI. Uh oh. Somebody wants me. Jeez, going to dead eye. Not going to die, die then. Let's get this looter before somebody turns up. Just the mine raiders. The the mines are after us big time at the moment. You meant the lake I talked about. I thought I thought what you were saying was Benner was um that that I was playing Red Dead and you were going to go and play Farm Sim, which is fine. I literally don't mind that. I, but that's, I was just literally telling you that I'm halfway through, so there's going to be a lot more. So if I misunderstood, I apologize. Wow, it's so misty here. It's so good, doesn't it? Slow it up. I heard like a... Do you hear that music track? I really hate that music track because that weird like noise that it's making makes me think I've got an audio issue. <laughs> that. Makes me think I've got an audio problem and it's not, it's actually the track. Whoa. No, it's not an audio issue, Chris. It's it's actually the music. And it happens a lot at night. There's another one that it does that makes it sound like an audio crackle, and it's really annoying. Come back to me. Oh. Well, either alligators can talk like women now, or I just heard a voice. Not for the first time I've heard a voice and there's been nobody there. Makes me think Arthur's going a bit crazy. Come home. Easy, easy. Do you see anybody? I don't see anybody. Gators, absolutely. Welcome back, Nutter. Happy anniversary.
Do you see the woman anymore? Wait, directly in front of you across the lake? Dude, where are you? I'm going to have to drive up. I literally yeah. can't see it. Oh, what are you doing, horse? Yep. We'll go over and have a look. I don't see it. Any pre-Christmas flying boats? I'm going to... I'm looking at the weather for next week, Zinnam. It looks a bit rainy again, but I really, really want to go flying, so... Even if I only get to do circuits, I think I'm going to go. Just to keep... Uh, keep things moving, you know? So I was like over there and you said she was here and I don't see her. Easy. Whoa. Maybe it was that house. Yeah. Wait, what's that nest? Easy now. Gator eggs. This is going to make me popular. You've discovered a gator egg. Of interest to collectors who can be found in the nicer parts of town. Hmm. Yeah, it looks like you can sell them as well. Go to your right way back. I'm thinking the sound was coming from that house. Stop putting your weapon away, dude. why there's a woman there unless she's gone Clip it, I've no idea. This place looks empty. <clears throat> there was a good woman in a white gown kneeling. Maybe she only appears at night and it's gone daytime now. Yes, I'm, <coughs> I am starting to lose frames. Like yesterday, I dropped zero frames. Today, I've dropped 600 already. So, yeah. It's like Twitch is having a laugh. Now, on the weekends, they tend to run tournaments, and I think they just turn a lot of servers off. It's irritating. Coffee, love that. It's just a random loot spot. Is there a more to this place than see I wonder? Oh, 
the spot and let's come back tonight. It's that weird music again. <clears throat> yeah, but there's so many partners now, Fox Cubbies. In the early days of Twitch, there weren't that many partners, so, like, they got the bandwidth. But now there's just so many of them. And then there's all the affiliates as well. Wait, that was a herb. Oh, it's a berry. Wait a minute, I need to eat berries for some quest thing. Evergreen Huckleberry is a health herb. Consumer replace your health core or craft it into predator bait. Interesting. Yeah, the waypoint bug seems to have been fixed. Pick and examine. Milkweed. Let's have a look what milkweed does. The herb contains cardiac glycoside poisons, which can be fatal to animals, depending on the amount consumed and the age of the plant. Arrows can be tipped in the poison when hunting and fighting. If it's processed properly, this herb can be consumed to increase your health. That's really weird. <clears throat> Here's a flower that can cause cardiac arrest in animals, but also can be used to make a health, uh, to increase your health level. That's bizarre. <clears throat> get some more. Looks like the swamp is a good place to get bit by alligators and also find some herbs. Uh, what frame rate do you get? I'm, I'm locked in at 60 FPS. I wonder how much the gates are excel for. I bet they're like $5 each and we're getting four at a time. Let's face it. In the centre of San Denis, they're selling lobster for, what was it, $4, $5? Something crazy. Wow, they were finding lots of oleander sage. Is that what you can use on meat? I think we might have actually found something. One of the most poisonous plants in America and should never be consumed. The cardiac glycide poison produced by this plant can be used to craft deadly weapons. Oof. I love the way it gives you the option to eat them. <laughs> like, go on, try it. You never know. You might like it once. <clears throat> uh, what does locker in mean? It's like you can't over 60 FPS. No, it means it means I I tell it not to do more than 60 FPS. Yeah, it can go higher, but I don't need it to because I stream at 60 FPS. Conscious that we're going to get attacked by a gator at some point. I swore I could hear something there.
and the healthy generation connected to the frame rate. If it if it is, it's a bug. Yeah, 1.4% frame drop at the moment, Foxy's Cubs. We just need to hope that it settles down, mate. There's nothing I can do. My, my bit rate's going like that. Shoot first, ask questions later. <laughs> Horses behind us, just there. Right outside the house. You can see it on the mini map. Could be dinner. We'll just grab the skin for now. Imagine the kind of knife that you would need to skin an alligator. As if there's one right there. Just watching me skin his brother. We'll have to come back at night and see if we can hear that um, that woman. I reckon she despawned because of the time of day. That's absolutely the weirdest thing. Like I got I got off my horse. I got off my horse and I noticed movement from the corner. I was like that, and I noticed movement in the corner of my eye. So I switched to the gun, saw that guy, shot him in the face, looked at the minimap. Looked at the minimap and saw two others coming at me. But the really weird thing is, is when I pointed my gun at them, they did not, like, look at him. He looked undead. Like, they were semi-trans, like, transparent. And I'm looking at that now, and he definitely doesn't look healthy. I would almost say that was a zombie. That's so weird. They are, they were like ghouls. Look at that, that's not normal. Like, look how red the eyes are. That's just really bizarre. Really bizarre. I'm glad they didn't actually land any punch. Because um, they're probably carrying diseases. <laughs> Can we not loot that?
witness. Some some victims note we just got. Night folk. Is that what they're called? If you find this, I am dead. The night folk haunted my dreams and now they haunt my waking hours too. I've tried to evade them, but it's only a matter of time before I feel I'm being bested by the silence of a woman. Okay, so now I'm thinking. You know that voice we heard? That woman. <clears throat> I'm thinking there's some like supernatural thing going on in the swamp. Because that guy talked about them visiting him in his dreams. And they definitely look ghostly to me. So I reckon they're taking some drug. That's making them look pretty ethereal. And that's why I couldn't see the woman, but I could hear her. Slow up now. So I reckon that woman was probably a trap. <clears throat> no, your Acorn's still there. But it's sad. I think Twitch is having issues, to be honest. Yeah, but if you come to the swamp at night, there's some really, really weird stuff going on. There's a, a lantern here, and a trail that leads away from it. the game really enjoyable <clears throat> lots of things to do more coffee noise premium cigarettes Let's do the premium cigarette dance. Oh, Jack again. Why do you have come here? Every stream you turn up, Jack, just annoying people. Should he take the mask off before smoking? Not if you've got the skills this man has. Look. You have a little tiny hole. And you can put a straw through it to drink whiskey. And you can smoke through it. It's pretty useful. Vistas of America. Blackwater. Ooh, that's a town we've not been to yet. Hello? What's all that about? Can we not open that? I can't believe we can't open the escape hatch. Is that another card on the table though? Please stand in the right pixel. Hang on. Emmett Granger. Wait, wasn't that one of the outlaw cards we needed? 
or something. Canned vegetables. Moonshine, nice. Is moonshine a provision? It's not a way of finding stuff in your backpack. <laughs> like if, if you want to find moonshine, how exactly do you look for it? What is that animal, though? That's my horse. Lol. Just gonna have a quick look underneath. Consumables knocked on it. Ah, look at this cheeky. <laughs> HT Slocum, Red Rocket. World Champion card set. Nice. Looks like they had a bit of a moonshine distillery going on here. Look at you, covered in swamp stuff. Let's get you looking good. That's better. Okay, girl. Oh, wait a minute. I don't want to go through there yet. I need to go a different way. I'm going to have to go through the swamp. I don't want to go through that yet. Oh, this is not going to go well. Where's this No, 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 no. I don't want to do the moonshine mission. No, no, no. Gotta do the moonshine mission, it's just triggered it. <laughs> okay, guess we're doing that then. Taking that. Yeah, shine, all right. Let's get you home. Wait. Yep. I don't know. If I don't do it, I might miss it. Because it's a side mission, you know. Either or it'll just fail it and let me do it again. You know, considering Moonshine is, like, outlawed, it's amazing how many people do it. <laughs> I don't think this is going to be the end of the shenanigans.
Uh oh. Mine's are going left, eh? Hey, bro. Hey. Don't mind me. It's just a fence. Yeah, Moonshine's a really strong alcohol, exactly. Bokan, thank you for half a year. Six months feels like uh, last month was five. Blinks, thank you, 54. I don't think I've ever tried Moonshine. I've tried things like Grappa, which is, you know, so, pretty strong. I got your moonshot. You're a wonderful man. Wonderful. <laughs> you got my money? Uh, it's, it's for a very good cause. Uh, my name is Professor Andrew Bell III. Perhaps you've heard of me. <laughs> Can't say that I have. Oh, I'm an inventor. Uh, maybe you've read about me. <laughs> uh, I don't read much. Oh, oh well, that's too bad. Oh, yes. <laughs> you got my money? <clears throat> oh, well, it, it is the most wonderful He hasn't got the money. Friend. Oh, you, sir, have done a great Just job. Just do this other thing. Some creep a lot of drink. <laughs> Creepers. Excellent. No nonsense. Now, you've helped me develop the most humane machine imaginable. A way to induce calmness to our most troubled souls. A way to end the barbarity of a public hanging. Oh, so, Electric so show. humane. What are you talking about? The electric chair. What? See, it's a chair full of electricity and quite fascinating. It calmly and peacefully dispatches the sinners. Calmly. To face judgment, yes. Judgment. Yeah. Where is it? Well, it's in my laboratory. The next thing I need is a, a demonstration. A public one. Huh. Uh, do you know the police chief? Hmm? As well as anyone. Oh, wonderful. Perhaps you can encourage him to let me demonstrate the chair. It will help bring this town into the next century. Yes, could you do that? Hmm? You serious, bro? Speak to the police chief. Okay. So we're still not being paid for all that moonshine we just got him. Why does he need moonshine for electric chair? Welcome back. I don't know. Is he going to use it as to power the motors? I think. I'm not sure. I think he's using it as combustion engine, maybe. Wow, that fence. That fence has been fixed already. Look at that. Those workers are amazing. Like constructor bots. Yeah. Twitch needs a bit more moonshine. Oh. Do you want to thank me now or later? Nutter. No, you can't go that way. That's that's the water, mate. Was that a Lemoyne Raider, scumbag? Executing people. lose honor for him i knew it lost honor for him because he was innocent even though he's dead yeah. dude yeah the horses i could lose them but man they have like a few copper on them <laughs> Happy 
Fierce Wolf, happy anniversary, thanks for a year. Mr. Hancock, thank you for 15. That's the concept of honor. Yeah, but it doesn't make any sense in that context, does it? So two Lemoyne Raiders are gonna execute two innocent people. I kill two Lemoyne Raiders, they kill one of the innocent guys, right? He's now dead. If I leave the body, it's just gonna rot there anyway. If I take stuff off the dead body that I didn't kill, why does that lose me honor? It's not like I can take it with him, is it? That's what I'm trying to say. Yeah. Yeah, but you can loot the Lemoyne Raiders, right? So they're dead bodies as well. You can loot a dead person who's a Lemoyne Raider, but you can't loot anybody else. Doesn't make any sense, does it? It's either honourable to take the money or not, or you, what you're saying is, it's honourable only if you take it off a bad guy and not an innocent, even though he's dead. No, no lost talk here. It doesn't, because your argument doesn't apply to the Lemoyne Raider. <laughs> I'm not robbing the innocent, I'm robbing the dead. That's different. Why does that make- okay, so why can I take it off the Lemoyne Raider then and not lose honour? Explain that. Wait, what's that sign there? Easy, easy. Yeah. Hey, what's this little, uh... It's not quite a waterfall, is it? Yes, I know Lemoyne Raiders are bandits, but the argument being put forward is you're, you're grave robbing, you're robbing the dead. But the Lemoyne Raiders are dead people as well. <laughs> In fact, I killed them. How is that honourable? You've entered legendary territory. Hey, wait, 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 wait. I've entered what now? <gasps> is this where I can get a beaver? Because I need beaver. I need to get a beaver. That looks like a beaver, doesn't it? Legendary beaver territory. Nice. Yeah, look, that's a beaver dam. Quite clearly. Ooh. Wonder what needs to kill a beaver. It won't be a rifle, will it? Maybe a bow. Will it be a varmint rifle? Fire. <laughs> Maybe, yeah, let's take the bow and the carbine. Okay. Okay. The trail. Uh, trail's been here a while. Wow, he can track him through water. That's an impressive skill. Dude. It doesn't matter, legendaries, you can kill them with a shotgun. That's true, actually. That's actually true. Oh my god. Wait, you went this way. In that case, we use the bow with improved. Because that sounds like fun. Twitch is dropping some packets today. <clears throat> Happened last week and it took about an hour to settle down, I think. Must be close. This is going to be really hard to spot. That in the
around there somewhere. Oh boy. That thing is mahoosive. And it won't stop rolling. Wait, instant? How come I got that instantly? Light out on the beaver makes it easy to recognize compared to other beavers. A varmint rifle. Oh, we're going to have to get rid of the alligator pelt. Oh, no, we're not. He'll tuck it underneath. That's fine. Nice. Good job, Arthur. Good job. Wasting the meat. I've got nowhere to put it. Just to store it on here, I'd have to get rid of the alligator um, skin. Saving man. Nuts Life, thank you for 36 months, three years. Appreciate that. Happy anniversary. McKeon. Uh, nice to see some Red Dead gameplay. A fresh change for pace of who other people are still on YouTube and so on. Thank you for uh, 62 months, sir. Okay, we've got that. We're heading northbound to Elysium Pool now. Well, I'm going to kind of follow this river if I can. See if I can spot any waterfalls on the way. Wow, this is definitely beaver country. Easy. Welcome back, Nutter. See if we can get any more. Shit, trouble is you don't know how deep this water is. Another one with three years, not slide. Thank you. Chicago Times, welcome back. Yeah, it's annoying, Yoshi. I don't know what it is, mate. It's never done it before. I don't know if that was one or not. Just saw something moving. There we go. Why is it gone? Okay, that's weird. Maybe it was a leaf bomb. I thought I got a red dot. It went into the water. Does that mean it needs a headshot then? Probably. another one 
Easy, whoa. Trouble is, they're really hard to spot, aren't they? Burdock root. Hmm. Bait and cover with scent. I've never done the baiting thing. Let's try it. Tracks average herbivores in the vicinity. Would it be that one? Yeah, we're hunting the beavers. So if we take one of them and then that, would that be enough, do you reckon? Let's try it. Blow up their dam with dynamite. Bait tracks over for all the best results, drop the bait in remote areas, then crouch nearby and remain still. I'll just cover myself in all spines. Nice. Not quite what I had in mind, but nice. I bet you some like white-tailed deer turns up. You put it where the third clue was. So what now? Yeah, something. I reckon they're all in that dam. I don't think there's any bears around here. Uh, ALGP, welcome to the Nut House. Thank you very much for your support. Chicago Times, welcome back. I could definitely hear beavers. They're not taking the bait, though. Oh, look, see the deer's coming over? That's no good. Go away. Shane Goats, thank you for 13 months. <laughs> this is not working. Don't you go eating my bait, you scumbag. Move it. Oi. That's not your snack. Wait, is that a beaver? That's a duck. Oh, man. <laughs> Chapter four. Why is it so hard to hunt these things? Wild mint? Yes! Now we can have minty, um, minty meat. 
We can get some lamb now, some nice lamb shank. Wait, what? Log updated. Somebody want mint? Susan's asked for some herbs of seasoning. I completely forgot about her. I'm not taking of those herbs. I've not seen a single beaver. Blow it up. I, I would honestly be amazed if dynamite did anything to that. That's probably like a fixed part of the map. Told you. I don't know if they're beavers in the water or just like fish or something. Look, minty venison. Fantastic. You enjoyed that, I can tell. Bob, I'd love one. I'm not here in chat, but I didn't want you to dehydrate. Lol. <laughs> Minty big game. Wow. Trouble is that'll use up all my wild mint that that woman wants, so... Uh, herbivore, herbivore bait, herbivore, herbivore bait is what we used. That as well. Minty prime beef. I don't have any sage. Arthur's beard is nice. It's not the finished product yet. I need to go and get his hair trimmed soon. Change the mint thing to nothing. Yeah, I think you can actually. Like that. Fully restores all cores. But if you have the minty version. Gives a gold, gold boost to your health, basically.
Yeah, I've got the kit upgrade and the materials upgrade for the satchel. So I'm trying to find another beaver skin because then we can get the... There's another another kit satchel I can get. Not Another satchel I can get, not a kit one. I can't remember which one it is, though. Look at that. Milkweed, yarrow and ginseng makes a special health cure. Why can't I make dynamite arrows? Like, I've got the recipe for it. I learnt it from the fence, but all I can see is fire arrow. Have I just not got the material for a dynamite arrow? Because I actually don't know what the materials are. Did I read the recipe? Well, now that's a very good question. <laughs> that's a very good question. I'm guessing maybe I didn't. Improved throwing knife. Yeah, apparently that's a bug, Marco. If you sa if you save and reload your game, that gets rid of the weird bug where all the fences are closed. Oh, I have got sage. Look, one sage, one common brush, one yarrow, horse ointment. It does sound like a dartboard, doesn't it? Maybe the beaver will come out in the morning. That's a weird audio issue. I might restart the game. That's a weird audio issue. Shouldn't be doing that. If I had a recipe, if I got a recipe off the fence and I hadn't read it, wouldn't it be in documents? I don't remember having to read the um, recipes from a fence. I thought they used to auto learn them. Uh, Bods, thank you very much for the bits. Only halfway towards that 5k bit badge. So far, this is going to take a while. <laughs> Got to play the long game, bro. Thank you. Well, I don't have anything in documents, do I? So there's, there's literally nothing to read in there. So I don't know why I can't make uh, dynamite arrows. Wait, so put me further upstream. Happy anniversary, Nata. Gunpowder, no. Where do I get gunpowder from? See, that's the thing. It doesn't actually tell you what the recipe is that I can find. What does it tell me? Oh, to make this, you need gunpowder. It seems to show you stuff you can make when you have all the ingredients, but if you don't have them, it just hides it. There should be an option. D Camel, thank you for five months.
why that. Is that a beaver? What is that? Is that a squirrel or a beaver? Dude, how on earth did you just disappear like that? That's just bizarre. It goes behind a tree and vanishes. What is going on? A buck. White tail buck. No, I don't benefit from peanuts. They're all about your your benefits, not mine. I can't believe how hard it is to find a beaver around here. Okay, that's deeper than it looks. Jeez, they're actually quite big, aren't they? Look at the size of that thing. Holy moly. This water looks so shallow. No wonder those things can chop a tree down. A mini chainsaw. <laughs> Sorry, where do we get gunpowder from? I missed it. Okay, then, girl. The fence doesn't sell it, so I'm kind of wondering if you have to craft it, maybe. Uh, hum 24, welcome back. all this then. Do you reckon they're going to be like normal people or scumbags? So probably normal. Let's go and have a look. Summit down there as well. Look, blimey, it's busy around here. Is Red Dead with missions or just play it free? Uh, it's it's what they call. It's like a story-driven sandbox exploration, so you can kind of go around and do what you want. There are certain places that you can't go to until you progress the story. Um, but a lot of it is about the story itself. But while you're doing the story, you can go off and just do so many things. There's loads of side missions, there's hunting achievements, there's collectible achievements, there's, there's so many things you can just go and do. And then random encounters on the way. 
So you don't have to stick to the story. Hi, uh, ma'am. You finished then? Yeah, that audio sounded really bad. Did you hear that? It was weird. I think I'm just going to restart and see if it fixes it. Something massively wrong. Now the audio's like behaving weirdly for some reason. It didn't do this yesterday. You need one arrow, one dynamite, one flight feather. I've got all that. I've got dynamite. I've got arrows. I've got flight feathers. Why can't I make it? I definitely learned the recipe. Uh, Barry Onyx, thank you for four. Try and check the recipe pamphlets again. You should be able to read them in the docs. I'll have a look. I'm pretty certain yesterday we bought the dynamite arrow. You reckon, Muffins? You reckon it's, uh, even though I've bought it, it's locked out from story mode? That would be really annoying. It shouldn't let you buy it if that's the case. Right, where have you put me, game? Okay. Happy anniversary, Nutter. Yep. There we go. I think I think it was that. It was, let's go back north. That's where we were. Okay. Not sure why he did that. Yeah. Mister Watchtower, thank you for twenty-seven months. Found the recipe you can make in chapter three. It's really weird. Recipe pamphlet. Dynamite arrow pamphlet. Maybe this is why. Maybe I just didn't read it. Arrow, dynamite, large feather. Next. See, like all these other things I can make, so why can't I make dynamite arrows? It's really weird. Large feathers, maybe. We shoot some more birds and see what happens. It says you've learned the poison arrow recipe. Wait a minute, wait a minute. Look at the top left. It's basically going, 
oh, you've learned this, you've learned that, you've learned this, you've learned that. Like, because I, I didn't actually cycle through them, it didn't, oh my god, it didn't read any of them. That's insane. That's actually insane. I can probably make them now. Oh my god, game. That feels a bit harsh. <laughs> 